Okay, so I am very excited today because the smile is radiating something that I have been looking for since I had a run in with it. So years ago, we were backpacking through Sri Lanka and in the middle of the night, I got this painful, vicious burning sensation in uh, my neck. So in Sri Lanka, they have coconut centipedes. Um, Australia also has centipedes and they range from either 10 centimeters to the largest one with 30 cent centimeters. That's a pretty big centipede. And I love creepy crawlies. So you know I found it, you know I caught it, and now we are going to talk about it. So let's get started. A scolopendrid centipede. This guy this morning when we were taking out the garbage cans, they like to live in moist, wet, soil uh, with a lot of leaves as well so yes underneath those bins as you can imagine there is some nice wet soil they love that and i've seen him a few times but not to this extent so i think he's grown quite a bit since i first met him a couple months ago all right so let's take a look at him i'm sitting here on the ground he's in here you can see the size of him So centipedes venom glands, they start within their pincers and obviously it's like a little tube on the inside that flows the venom from their head, which contains the venom, out to the ends of their pincers. Did you know that a centipede has one pair, so two legs per section of their bodies? Oh my gosh, The difference between a millipede and a centipede. Centipedes only have 100 legs, whereas millipedes have over a thousand legs. There's that you can see, and those long antennas, those are his head that you can see. So those pincers right there, the red ones, they are the ones that actually grab the prey, hold it, and then injects its venom and takes its prey. Oh gosh, she's getting out. Centipedes actually have three flaps on the side of their body that open and close with their muscles to prevent them from drying out. How neat is that? So, because I live near Sydney, we have the most aggressive yet large species of this centipede. So, how did I get bitten by one of these centipedes in Sri Lanka? Can you hear all these lorikeets behind me? That's so cool. So they say that bug nets are supposed to be your best friends when traveling. In our case, in Sri Lanka, our bug net did not do justice. I turned on the light and I had the biggest puncture wounds and the most swelling I had ever felt so fast. Some cold water on it. Woke up the family that we were living with and they just went into the garden, grabbed some green leaves, mixed it up for me, and they popped it on my neck like a little hockey puck. And the father said to me, oh, you're definitely going to feel that. Okay, yeah, no worries, but a little bit drunk for the rest of the day. It, my depth perception was completely shot. Took about four days for the venom to take its course through my bloodstream, and I started feeling a little bit more normal after that. So the word myriapod, is actually two words in one. Muria meaning tens of thousands and pod meaning feet. Muriapod. Muriapods are not insects, but they are in the arthropod family. What does that mean? They have more than six legs. Spiders, anything else that has more than six, so spiders have eight legs, they are classified in the arthropod category. Same with crustaceans. let him go live a happy life oops sorry bud goodbye little guy have a great life thanks for not biting me 